Good morning and good day and welcome to the Human Good Inspire Awards. I am so excited to be here this morning and this afternoon for some of our Human Good family, and I hope you are equally excited. Many of you know that I've often described the Big Connect as being my favorite meeting of the year. And I have to say it has now become my second favorite meeting of the year. The Human Good Inspire Awards are my true favorite meeting of the year, and in just a few minutes, you will see why. You know, when we changed the name of the organization to Human Good five years ago, I wasn't sure how the board would respond. It is a bold name. It's a bold aspiration. It's a bold promise. And as we talked about what that name meant, I had one question that came from the board. Are we willing to do the work to live up to the Human Good name? Well, you will see in just a few minutes, the answer to that is an unequivocal yes. What great stories we have to share about the human good family, the people who every day, day in and day out, through good times and through 18 months of really tough times, have lived our values and our brand in the biggest, boldest, most imaginative way possible. These stories truly do inspire me, and I know they're going to inspire you. You know, our values of passion and courage, inclusion, innovation, and impact aren't just words. They are the driving force behind everything we do. And so today what we're celebrating is we're celebrating the people who have found a way not to have those values just hang on a wall somewhere and be talked about. We are celebrating people who have found bold and creative ways to live those values and make a tremendous impact both on those we serve and on their fellow team members. You may recall we did this award ceremony last year. That's when it became my favorite meeting. And we had over 600 people on our Zoom call participating in this celebration. And so I wanna remind you today, as you watch uh, our recipients, as you listen to the videos, use your chat feature, send in the emojis of hearts and applause, send in your congratulations and your appreciation because we are lifting up the people who lift up the human good brand. In the future, I look forward to doing even more of these awards because they really are an essential part of how we express who we are and who we need to be and who we look like on our very best days. And these next five recipients of the Human Good Inspire Awards will show you exactly what it means to be human good. So I'm anxious to get into the awards and to introduce you to our next five recipients. So let's get started without any further ado. And our first award recipient this year is Olga Quintana. Olga is an affordable housing administrator for Interfaith House in Germantown, Pennsylvania. And yes, I see the applause. And yes, it, in uh, Interfaith House, you should be applauding Olga. Olga, I am so excited to share your video in just a few minutes. Olga's been with us for a little over three years. She was nominated by VP of Affordable Housing, Bill Canteen, and her fellow team members. They talked about her impact on her colleagues and residents, her courage, her confidence, and her innovative thinking. Doesn't that sound a lot like the human good brand? You bet it does. Let's take a look at the video they prepared about Olga. Olga has that can-zoom mentality and attitude. 
without hesitation, she will assist new team members with onboarding. She cares about her community. She cares about her team members, the residents, um, and reporting and compliance and, and her files and how they look, which is very important to us in the compliance team. So kudos to you for, uh, for that, Olga. She is kind, she is compassionate, she is loyal to the company. She's always willing to jump in wherever it's needed for her residents and for her colleagues. Congratulations, Olga. She's always willing to pitch in for any of the other managers and for her residents. Couldn't happen to a better person. Thank you, Olga, for all that you do. Reminding me of Rosie the Riveter with the do-rag, the blue cow shirt, and that can do mentality. When there's an issue, she's always coming up with solutions. She's a hands-on leader, not afraid to get her hands dirty. And if she doesn't know how to do something, you can trust, she'll find an answer. That's why she is the person I brainstorm with most of the time when I have a challenge because she is amazing and she is always willing to help and listen. And um, I am very grateful to not only call her my coworker, but also call her a friend. Congratulations, Olga, on your really good Inspired Award. I love that video, Olga. I'm so glad we could start this ceremony with you and with that wonderful video. I loved hearing the description about rolling up your sleeves. That really is what leadership is all about. It's about showing up with your fellow team members, rolling up your sleeves, joining them in the mission and the work of human good. I loved hearing the Rosie the Riveter analogy. What a terrific analogy of someone who truly rolled up her sleeves and made a real impact. And I love the can-do attitude. That, that is really everything we are as an organization. And so, Olga, I am so delighted to be able to extend this award to you on behalf of all of Human Good. Congratulations, Olga. Thank you, Human Good. Thank you. I'm very proud, very proud of this part of Human Good. Thank you, John. Thank you, Bill Canteen. And um, thank you for all my team and all the support they are receiving throughout these years. Thank you again. Congratulations again, Olga. What a well-deserved award. Our next Inspire Award recipient is Karen Compton a resident service coordinator in affordable housing. Now, by the way, if you wanna meet an energetic group of people, you gotta to get to know our resident service coordinators and learn not only the hard work they do, but learn about the tremendous impact they have on the lives of those we serve. Karen was nominated by Linda Coleman, our vice president of resident services, as well as her colleagues at Harborview Manor in Tacoma, Washington. Your colleagues, Karen, talked about the impact you've had with your passion, your dedication, and the joy you bring to your work every day. What a great testament to who you are and who Human Good hopes to be. Let's take a look at her video. Karen works tirelessly to make sure that this vision of Human Good lives up to its potential. Whenever I ask a question, you always have an answer, and I really appreciate that. I just wanted to state how wonderful she is. Karen is a, a very caring, very personable individual, very professional, uh, very um, uh, extreme advocate for the residents here. I call you Energizer Bunny, because even when things are hard, you still keep moving. You embrace the role as the resident service coordinator and you treat the residents as if they were your own family. You provide them with support and resources to live their best life. You imagined a partnership with a mental health provider and it became a reality. With that, residents now have on-site support. You always are willing to go wherever there is a need, no matter the location. You bring your knowledge, you listen, you're compassionate, 
you empathize, you truly bring the best out of people. Uh, she is always demonstrating uh, professionalism, attack, and care, and even sense of humor in all uh, how she deals with uh, the residents here and how she engages with them. She's a lovely lady to work with. She's an individual that's very passionate about the work that she does here. And I'm extremely honored and privileged to work with her. And I would say human good, uh, uh, she's a blessing for, for you to have. I feel she's an ambassador for human good. Her passion, dedication, innovative ways to bring things to the property for the residents. We do a lot of brainstorming, um, you know, to do what's best for the residents to live their best life. And Karen, you do that on a daily basis. I know that I'm not the only one that loves you. And I'm glad that you have won this honor because you deserve it, my dear. And I thank the Lord for you. Congratulations, Karen. Your mom would be so proud of you. We love you. Wow, Karen, what a testament to making a profound difference in the lives of people you serve and people alongside uh, you as your team members. I don't know if you caught that, but there was a reference in there to courage, to doing what's right, even when it's hard. And I think one thing we know is the last 18 months have been nothing but hard. And yet, thanks to people like you, our brand has never shined brighter. Our mission has never been delivered in a more sound and impactful manner. And I love this idea that we heard early on of ensuring that our, the vision of our brand lives up to its name. That's what I referenced in my first comments when the board talked about, are we willing to do the hard work to live up to our name? Well, Karen, you have helped demonstrate the answer to that is an unequivocal yes. I am so grateful for all you do. I'm so honored to be able to extend this award to you, uh, the Human Good Inspire Award. Congratulations, Karen. Thank you. Wow. Um, John, I want to first thank you for your leadership in moving this company forward. Um, thank you for inspiring everybody within the Human Good organization. I can't thank Linda Coleman enough for all of the confidence and the encouragement that she gives me to do my job every day. Then I have Nikki, uh, that is the regional supervisor, and she's absolutely wonderful. And then my right hand is right here, Kathy Williams. And then I look at this team. I'm fortunate to come to work every day. It's an honor and a privilege to work with Mike and Mike, Tony, Sherry, Tammy, and Diane. And then behind me, I look at all of this support. I have everybody from Salishan Gardens here. We do a lot of joint activities together, Loretta and myself. I have Maria, Loretta, and Jimmy. It's a great day every day that I come to work and I work for this organization and I will always put my best foot forward. And I thank you for the privilege of being able to come here every day. It is my honor. I love the residents. I love the team members. They have become my family and I can't wait to see them every day. I go home excited knowing that I get to come back to work the next morning. So thank you very much. Karen, thank you for those lovely comments. I, 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 there's so much I can talk about there and, and the fact that I feel the same way about my work. And I particularly appreciated how you extended your gratitude to your fellow colleagues by name uh, and brought them into the picture because we are doing this as a team. We do this as the human good family. And it is why we love our work, not just because we're doing important work, but because we're doing it with people that we love and admire and respect. And that makes all the difference in the world. Congratulations again. Thank you. This recipient of the Human Good Inspire Award is Brenda Mejia, who is a part of our buildings and ground team at the terraces at San Joaquin Gardens. Brenda was nominated by Sean Rushforth and her colleagues at TSJG 
when our communities were hardest hit during the pandemic, Brenda uh, volunteered to travel and go outside the community to make sure that the needs, not just of our own community were met, but make sure that the human good family was taken care of. That really is the human good uh, ethos and culture in, in one statement. I'm so proud of this. I can't wait to watch the video. Let's take a look. So when I think of Brenda, two of our core values come to mind and that's courage and impact. Um, the way she stepped up for us through the COVID um, outbreaks on our campus. She went from a housekeeper to a caregiver here on campus. She volunteered to go to a sister community to help them when they were being uh, having a tough time going through their COVID outbreak. Um, I believe the executive director described her as a lifesaver. Brenda's impacted community by um, offering to take a caregiving class during COVID and helping out other departments other communities and their time of need. She has a huge impact in our residents' lives every day. Caring, compassion. Thorough, thorough and meticulous. So she's the one you'd go to um, when you need a task accomplished. Um, there's not a lot of direction needed for her and she just handles it, so that's friendly to me. A team player, love the residents, do anything for them. Brenda's impact has been different around the community for different people. I mean, whether she was cleaning their carpets to being a caregiver for our assisted living and memory care teams during our outbreaks. And always with a smile, wonderful demeanor. She interacts with the residents 100%. The community is better for her being here. Well, Brenda, what a great video. I hope you're as moved by that as we are. I see you've got an audience there applauding for you, and we're all applauding for you. What a memorable video about impact and, and bringing all of the values of human good to life. You know, I particularly loved hearing about how in the middle of a pandemic, when everything was going wrong, when everyone was under the, the most uh, stress imaginable, you took the time to increase your skills to increase our reach as an organization. I can't tell you how much that means to me and how much that has inspired me and obviously your fellow colleagues. And I loved hearing the description at the end that the community is better for you being there. Well, Brenda, what I want you to know is human good is better for you being here. We are all better for your being part of the human good family. And you know, we talk a lot about the human good family, but you've taken this to a new level because I understand we've got some special guests with you today. Your mom and your brother are also part of the human good family. So I want to applaud you for taking this to uh, to the extreme of making sure you make it the literal and figurative human good family. Brenda, thank you for everything you do on behalf of human good. It is my pleasure to extend the human good inspire award to you. Congratulations, Brenda. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who nominated me to receive this award. I honestly couldn't have done it without the whole team. Here at the Terraces and at Windsor, it, from learning to flip the breaker to learning how to care for residents. Thank you. <laughs> Brenda, thank you for those comments. It is great to hear. You know, bringing human good to life is, is sometimes uh, the big move and sometimes it's as simple as flipping a breaker. It takes all of it to make it work. We're so glad you are part of the human good family. We're so glad you brought your extended family in. Congratulations, Brenda, again, on winning the Human Good Inspire Award. We're so proud of you. Our next recipient comes to us from Regents Point in Irvine, California. Martin Corona is a housekeeping supervisor he was nominated by Executive Director Melinda Forney and the crew at Regents Point. They talked about the fact that Martin provides support in his own unique uh, and, and invaluable way 
And in fact, that's the word they use to describe him is invaluable. I love that phrase. Uh, and I wonder how many people that would actually apply to in human good. And Martine, I'm glad you get to carry the ball here. Thank you for all you do. Let's take a look at your video. Martine is our rock. He works quietly behind the scenes, but his actions have a significant impact on the entire community. During tough times, and there were many this past year, Martine has always been ready to lend his support and offer words of encouragement, along with a cup of coffee. Martine is a great human being. He's always positive, joyful, hardworking, and always going above and beyond. Thank you for all you do with regards to HR, helping all of your team members to get um, enrolled in benefits, do their relias, and most recently doing the biometric screening. That's absolutely fantastic. I cannot thank you enough. You are awesome and congratulations. He's such an inspiration to everyone here at Regents Point. The housekeeping and laundry department in our skilled nursing facility would not have been able to run smoothly if it weren't for Martine going above and beyond. Working with Martine in this short yet critical time was truly a pleasure for me. Martine Corona is just an amazing team member, an amazing person. I remember when I started here at Regents Point, he was giving me a tour of the community and he was introducing me to residents and he just had the most amazing things to say about Martine. You know, thank you Martine for your hard work and dedication. I can see how you impacted the community and the residents. Thank you. Throughout the years, you have been nothing but a gentleman, a team player, a wonderful team member. Um, I can recall a time, several actually, that we've had here, incidents where, without a doubt, you were there to help us. There's never a day that Martine is not at his best. He handles a myriad of issues without even being asked. Martine can be found hanging artwork and rearranging plants around the community or educating residents about COVID precautions during lawn bowling or deep cleaning all the lobby furniture because he wanted to create a positive first impression. The best part, he follows up to make sure residents and team members are satisfied with the outcomes. Martine is human good. Wow, these videos are just awe-inspiring. And Martine, I hope you're as moved as I know the rest of our audience is. It's no wonder your colleagues described you as being invaluable. You know, the first comment that stuck with me as I watched that video, and I suspect it stuck with many others, is uh, what a wonderful, great human being you are. What a wonderful description to hear from our colleagues. And you heard that from everybody who spoke. And then I, I love the comment from Melinda that you're, there's never a day when you're not at your best. And you know, that really stuck with me because that is a true leadership position. We all have days we're not at our best. But what your colleagues are telling us is there is never a day that you don't show up and bring your best. That is absolutely the human good way. Martin, I am so proud of what you've done. Uh, Martine, excuse me. I am so grateful to be able to extend this award to you. So Martine, congratulations on winning the Human Good Inspire Award. I want to thank uh, Melinda for nominating me. I wanted to dedicate this to the richest point, our family. I wanted to thank always, you know, I get it this, but behind me, it's a team. They always help me to get my job. Uh, my sorry, to get my job done. I want to appreciate it to all the team. This is my inspiration and my support. If I get it, this is for team. They always support me. Thank you to all. <laughs> Martin, I love the confetti shower. You deserved it all. I think you you set a new standard for for recipients of the Human Good Inspire Award. And again, I wanna thank you for, for including your team because we are a family, we are a team, we don't do this by ourselves, but it is people like you, Martine, who hold up our values and inspire all of us to bring our best to the Human Good brand. So congratulations again, and thank you for everything you do. 
Our final recipient uh, is Anna Delgado. Anna is an administrative assistant extraordinaire from, from Plymouth Village. And I love the extraordinaire part. Is that actually an official job title? I've got to work that into my job title, I think. We should all have extraordinaire written into our job title. And Anna, it's apparently been written into yours. You were nominated by Julie Michaels and your entire team. Uh, for the past eight years, they talked about the fact, Anna, that you consistently go above and beyond in delivering the Human Good brand to your colleagues, to our residents, to our families. Let's take a look at the video. When we had been missing our IT team member for quite some time, and on top of that, COVID hits us. Yikes! Anna was our go-to team member for all things technology. She helped all of us learn Zoom, FaceTime, Skype, our new community Touchtown app, along with our PVTV channel, YouTube, videos, live streaming events, instilling confidence with everyone she helped. Remembering as a concierge, you helped in so many ways, greeting the people coming to the dining room and helping us in so many ways as a concierge. As a result, you became an administrative assistant. And when I was president of PVRA, I couldn't have done it without you your help and everything with the newsletter, the fryer, everything that came to us. I'm so grateful for your help. God bless you and all you do. Thank you. From the moment we met her, we knew that she had consistent determination and always took opportunities to help both residents and team members. We both had the pleasure of working with her side by side over the years in various roles. We were often referred to as the Three Musketeers. It's so great to see a good friend of ours and a peer receiving the Inspire Me Award. Being deaf and not even able to use a telephone, I rely on my computer. So if one is down, I'm isolated. Living close to Anna's office is a real asset. Thank you, Anna. Congratulations. <laughs> You will never know how important you are to the village. No task is too great, no task is too small. You do it all. My sincere appreciation. Thank you, Anna. Hey, Anna, you've been with Plymouth Village for eight years, but none, none was like last year. Oh my goodness, we could not have done it without you. In fact, we had to do this video without you. So we're all together to say what a difference you've made in our lives, and congratulations, everyone. <laughs> what a terrific video to end on, Anna. That was just wonderful to see. Uh, early in the video, we heard the word yikes to describe the last 18 months. I think that is the perfect description for what we've been through. But all of your colleagues talked about you're not missing a beat in delivering on, on the value proposition to our customers, to families, to our, our fellow team members. And they talked about the impact you have. And I've got to tell you, the part from the resident with the hearing impairment, uh, talking about the impact your work has had on his life. Talk about inspiring someone's best life. We don't always see the direct connection between what we do and the impact we have. Well, Anna, we saw it in, in the boldest, biggest, brightest way in that video. I hope you are as pleased as we are. I am so proud of everything you do for the community and for this organization. It is my pleasure and my privilege to extend to you the Human Good Inspire Award. Congratulations, Anna. Um, first, thank you, John, for hosting this um, amazing recognition for all of um, Human Good. And um, I'm sure there's more employees out there, you know, that deserve this as much as we do. Um, I just love coming to work because of the people I work with and the residents that made a big impact in my life that I consider family. So thank you so much to everyone. This is not just a one person job. It takes a village and that is why we are Plymouth Village and we're, I'm just so honored and grateful. Thank you. 
Anna, thank you and congratulations again. You said something really interesting. You said there are other people who deserve this award. And I will tell you that as I look back over the last 12 months and the hard work that has been done on the front lines and the back lines and the sidelines of human good, across the entire geography we serve and every business segment we are in, we have nearly 5,000 team members who are living our values every day, bringing our brand to life every day and inspiring people's best lives every day. And so I agree with you, these stories are unique and they're not because they're being lived all over our organization. And that's why we have these awards. That's why they're called the Inspire Awards because they really do inspire all of us. And they really do help us make the connection between the work we do and the impact we have as individuals and as an organization. I now wanna bring back our recipients one more time for a big human good round of applause. I wish we could throw confetti at everybody, but let's take a look at our winners this time. What a great group who have inspired me and I know inspired all of you. Congratulations again to all of you. Uh, thank you, not just for the extraordinary work that you do day in and day out, pandemic or no pandemic, but thank you for inspiring us. Thank you for sharing your stories about the impact you've had, about the difference you have made and holding up the human good brand to everyone. You really do demonstrate what it means to be human good. I also wanna thank everyone who joined us for the celebration today. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for uh, helping to join in the celebration and hold up and honor these five very worthy recipients. I also wanna thank Christine Alamedine and the team who helped put this program together. As you might guess, there's an awful lot of work that goes on behind the scenes to make this look simple. It is not simple, but it is important. And again, this is now my favorite meeting of the year. I look forward to doing this again as we share more stories about what it means to be human good. Thank you all for joining us today.